Do you guys want to know how I can get 250 FPS on a laptop while recording a high quality video? Well today I will show you the best Minecraft settings for recording slash streaming or just playing. So first of all, we're going to go into options. I don't think the FOV really matters. I usually have my 82. I'm doing like PvP, turned down to like 75. But for now, I'll leave that at 82. So we'll really be messing around here as video settings. I don't think any of this other stuff really matters. But first, graphics. You're going to want to have these at fast, like fancy. If you can get away with fancy, try fancy, but fast will give you the most FPS. Now, smooth lighting, technically, having the lowest smooth light, having no smooth lighting will give you more FPS. But look at this, like this just looks like trash. Like it just makes your game look like trash. Like I'm getting like, what, 20 more FPS. But now my game looks like trash. There's no like lighting between the blocks. So that's why I like to have my smooth lighting on to max. And I turn it up. See, that looks so much better. You can see the difference between the blocks. I just would much rather have my smooth lighting on. Sacrifice that little bit of FPS. GUI scale, I leave mine at large. This, I don't think this really matters. Brightness, again, I don't think this really matters. I just leave it at bright. Dynamic lights, I'm not really sure what this does, but uh, I just leave it off because it's not really that important for like bed wars or PvP or anything. Shaders, obviously if you use shaders, your game will have decreased quality, so we're not even gonna mess with these. Uh, details, we have clouds off, clouds are just annoying. Nobody likes them, trees. Um, I actually will keep these at fancy. Now, you may wanna keep them at fast, but here I need to show you something real quick with the leaves. So, with fat fancy leaves, you can see through the leaves, so you can see if somebody's on the other side of them. But um, if the leaves are, if it's default, you can't see through them. So somebody can hide through behind these and like scours or bed wars, and you will never know. So I like to have these at, uh, I like to have these at fancy. Doesn't really affect the game that much. Sky, we're gonna wanna have this off because uh, let me show you what it's like if it's on. See when the sky's on, you have the ugly horizon line and you can't see the void of your custom sky. So that's why we keep sky off, sun and moon. Sun and moon, we have that off. Fog, this doesn't really matter. We just leave it off. Translucent blocks, fast. Dropped items, leave that fast. Pretty much everything that you can turn to fast, you should turn to fast if you want most FPS boost. Vignette, it's like this black border. Leave that at fast. Swamp colors, this doesn't really matter. We just leave that off. Cloud height, well, we already have clouds off, so we just have that off. Rain and snow, I leave it at default. Some people like rain and snow, some people don't. I don't really care. Stars, we need to have this on or else the custom sky won't work. So you turn it off, no custom sky. So we need to have those on. Show capes, I find that uh, I like to see if people have capes, but obviously some people don't, but I don't know, you're weird if you don't. Fog start, this doesn't really matter. Held item tooltips, I, I like to know how much damage my items do, so I leave this on. Entity shadows. This isn't really important, just shows like a shadow underneath the body, so I just turn that off. Alternate blocks, uh, I leave this on. I'm not really sure what it does, but I haven't really noticed a difference either way. And smooth biomes, we leave this on. Uh, I think you can turn this off, but I don't really, I haven't really noticed a difference either way, so I just leave that on. Now we're going to animations. So you could check these all off if you really want maximum FPS boost, but I like to see potion particles if somebody's invis. I like to see terrain animated. I like to see water particles, portal, portal particles, and textures. And I just have my particles at minimal. Um, like animations, flame animated, you don't really need that. It just makes the fire move, but I have that off. Um, render distance, I'll use that six. Uh, you don't really need to turn it up more than like 12 if you have like a really good system because servers can't render more than that. I'd say like six to eight. I I don't really I don't really know a difference when I go above six because I play like Bed Wars, Sky Wars, obviously. Uh, you can always obviously turn this all the way down, but then your game will look like trash. I really wouldn't put this below four. 
like then you just won't be able to see anything max frame rate obviously we're going to leave this out unlimited um sometimes i have it at 120 but we're going to leave this out unlimited for now view bobbing uh we're going to leave this off because it makes my like if you have it on um i'll just show you it makes like your hand move and i don't know that like messes me up when i'm speed bridging if you have it off yeah this just looks better so we're gonna leave that well use vbos this actually gives you like a ton of fps so like it gave me like 50 extra fps so i'm gonna leave this on alternate blocks i'm gonna leave that on because it makes some texture packs work dynamic fov i like to know when i'm sprinting but obviously some people have this off so i'm gonna leave it on quality mitmap levels mitmap type uh some systems this will affect you some it won't it doesn't really affect me either way so i just leave it to default uh any so anisotropic filtering not really sure how to say that i leave that off because that will tank your fps if you have it on clear water off better grass off custom fonts i like to see custom texture pack fonts so i leave that on connected connected textures i leave it off just default custom sky obviously we have that on custom entity models we are gonna leave that on emissive textures i leave that off not really sure what this does but i leave that off um anti-aliasing off that that will like destroy your fps random entities hide this off better snow doesn't really matter i just leave that off custom colors i can see custom colors in packs so i'm gonna leave this on Natural textures, I'll just, I'll leave this off. Custom items, custom items I'll leave on. And custom GUIs, I like to have that on too. Um, Let's go performance. Smooth FPS. This will give you lower, like slightly lower FPS, but it'll be more stabilized. So if you want this, you can turn this on, but I have it off. Smooth world. um, Off, Uh, your FPS will, it's like similar to smooth FPS. So if you want these on, you can turn them on. Fast render, um, I this off, but you can turn it on. Um, it doesn't really increase my FPS, but some people it has. Fast math, this will give you FPS, so I leave that on. Um, chunk updates, just leave that at one for highest FPS. Dynamic updates, leave it on. Render regions, I have that off. Lazy chunk loading, uh, this will like make your render scuffed, so I leave this off. And I mean, you can turn it on if you want, but it'll make it your game kind of look like trash and smart animations uh i leave this on so other i don't think there is really anything in here uh, none of these really affect fps i already have the fps mod so i don't have that lego meter don't really need that weather i don't like weather full screen obviously you can have that on um some depending on who you are having not having full screen on might increase your fps if you have like a not that great of a graphics card 3d anaglyph off screenshot size default uh full screen mode you can actually turn this to 720 but i like to leave mine at 1080 and uh we're not gonna mess with that now we're gonna take a look at the lunar settings so i don't know why but like my fps tanks a lot when i'm in the lunar menu but um these are all the mods that i have on if you want to get this cool color you can just do text color chroma and it makes it like that but i don't like to have too many mods because it just clutters up the screen and it will affect fps so I just have the necessities. I like having keystrokes for videos and pack display for videos. Um, now we're actually going to go in the settings. This will, this some of these settings will affect your FPS. So enchantment glint, I like to have that on. Never hide end portals. Lazy, ch lazy chunk loading, I have this completely off because if you have it on, like yes, you'll get like a tiny bit more FPS, but like stuff will render. It'll take forever for stuff to render. I have the stuff at medium. You can like turn all these way down, but. It will make your game like kind of trash so if you want a trash game but fps then maybe you can do that uh general there isn't really much in here third person name tag i like to have that so like if i go into third person you can see my name tag um i don't know why i did this menu backwards but i like to have all the cosmetics on so uh, you can turn them off i'd always recommend to have cloaks on though because cloaks are just cool um yeah, disable weather, I already have that off. Transparent background, just so you can like see the background. Um, performance, already gone over this. Controls, they're just my controls. I don't know, it's not really gonna affect FPS. So yeah, I have a laptop, I get 200, 260, 270 FPS in housing. Um, 
Oh, also one more thing I didn't mention is your resource pack. Uh, 16x will give you the most FPS. 32x will be a little bit less, but it's you know still playable. I really wouldn't go above 32x if you have a low end system, just because like using like bedless new pack or stuff like that, it'll just really affect your FPS a lot and you might overload your graphics card. So I just use 16x and 32x packs. Uh, they look pretty nice and they offer a good amount of FPS boost. So if it wasn't already obvious, you're definitely going to get more FPS in like duels or something than in like bed wars, just because of the amount of like entities and blocks and stuff. So that's why I did the test in housing, because that's where I get the most FPS on high pixel. Obviously, you probably get the most FPS in a super flat world. And you obviously get more FPS by looking at the sky. But, you know, nobody's going to do a duel looking at the sky. So for all intents and purposes, let's say this gets you, it's, this gets me like 200 consistently, like 180 to 200 while recording too. You have to keep that in mind. Recording makes me lose around like 100, 50 to 100 FPS, depending on the quality of your recording, depending on, oh my God. Almost flawless that guy. <laughs> Depending on multiple things like the quality of your recording or uh, how how much bit rate you have. I've been slowly upping my bit rate just to see what I can get away with. And it looks like an FK player here. Never mind, he is very laggy though. Okay. All right, so I hate doing these cringy like YouTuber outros, but basically, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this, and uh, why don't you actually click that video right there that I just kindly left for you so you can uh, check out some texture packs if you really want to get some good FPS boost while also having some nice-looking texture packs in your game. That being said, I'll see you in the next one.